Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at recoloring patterns in Illustrator and particularly the patterns that are shipped with Illustrator that look like they might be a little bit difficult to recolor. Now before we start on this video, I just want to introduce you to some of the other places where I teach. I teach at Skillshare and in the description below you'll find a link to Skillshare and I'm offering you at least as good a deal as Skillshare offers and oftentimes it's actually a much better deal. I also teach at Udemy where I've got a number of Illustrator classes at Udemy and again I've got a special deal for you if you just sign up for any of my classes with the coupon code YouTube then you'll get the best possible price on all of my courses and again there are links in the description below. So now let's get to the topic of today's tutorial and what I want to do is show you how to recolor patterns in Illustrator, in particular some of the patterns that look like they're going to be particularly difficult to recolor. So I'm going to swatch this panel here in a new document. I'm going to open Swatch Library and I'm going to the Patterns group and Basic Graphics and let's take Basic Graphics lines. And these are black and white line patterns. So let's just go and drag out a rectangle and let's use one of these lines patterns here and you can see that they're being applied to that rectangle as I click on them. Now say you see a pattern here, I'm just ignoring for now the white lines through that pattern because I don't want to deal with fracture lines, I just want to deal with recolouring a pattern. So say you like this pattern but you want it to be recoloured. Now there's a very simple way of doing that with the selection tool make sure that you have the rectangle selected and go to the recolor artwork tool here which is this sort of circular icon here. This panel has an extra panel which you can open or close as you wish. What you'll see when you've got a pattern that has black and or white in it is that the black is mapped onto black and there's a little dash here or there may be nothing at all. What this is telling you is that you can't actually recolor black right now but if you click on this little dash and make it into an arrow then you can recolor it. So what you could do is double click here and choose a different color and then the pattern will be recolored. You can also go to the edit option here and just drag on this color wheel and you can drag into the position where you want to recolor that pattern and once you find the color you want to use you'll just click OK. Now what you're going to find is that the pattern, the new recolored pattern is going to be added to your swatches panel. So this is the original one that we just got out of the patterns collection that is shipped with Illustrator and here is the one that we have recolored. So these are going to be automatically created as recolored patterns for you and of course this is going to work for any pattern, patterns that you create yourself or patterns that are shipped with Illustrator. Here's another one, let's go to the recolor artwork tool, here are the colors in it, you can see none of them are black or white because they're all able to be easily remapped because they've got these little arrows here. Now I could double click to change the colors, I'm going to the edit option and I'm just going to drag on these color pickers to choose the colors I want in my pattern. When I'm happy with it I'll click OK and as expected here is the new recolored pattern swatch added to the swatches panel. This is the original, this is our recolored version. So anytime you need to recolor a pattern in Illustrator the simplest possible way is to go to that recolor artwork tool and it's also a really cool tool so I think you're going to like it. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And until next time, I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.